Right, then welcome to the, uh, where are we, November 16th <laughs> select board meeting. A little bit confusing here. Um, we are still in the band room at the middle school because this is, we hope, the last night of town meeting. Um, next time you see the select board, we will be back in the town room at town hall on Monday the 21st. Um, tonight we've got a couple of logistical issues related to town meeting and then some other things that have come up uh, in the meantime. So we're going to start with the town meeting issues. And we have Barbara Ford and Hilda Greenbaum here to talk to us about uh, their motion to divide. So, Ms. Ford, would you like to tell us about this? Well, the motion to divide is fairly simple. We're asking to take out two definitions from um, Article 17. Uh, which, is a, which is a part which in the section 12 of which I believe is H. It, well, there's A, B, C, D. I think it's H. H, okay. And the two definitions are the townhouse and apartment. And the reason we're, we're asking to abstract them from this and vote separately on it is so that hopefully if they're voted, if they're supported, we will have these two de definitions in the bylaws, regardless of the disposition of Article 17. So if Article 17 passes, they will remain in, Article, in the new Article 16. And um, I'm also going to make an amendment to propose 12.04, which is the definition of apartment. By the way, the apartment definition does not exist as a definition in the current bylaw. There's it's something in Section 3.3, um, but otherwise it doesn't have a specific definition. So I'm going to amend that, and um, the amendment is to remove um, so from the first sentence the phrase where the majority of such units are designed and used for residential occupancy. That is a confusing phrase. It seems to refer to um, live use type of buildings or the kinds of buildings you have in the village center with small businesses underneath and uh, residents above. And it's confusing because apartment, I believe, was never meant to be mixed use. It was just the definition for apartment, always to be fit living. So that's hence the uh, amendment. And, um, and then, after we amend it, um, We'll discuss the purpose of abstracting it and um, then we'll get to vote on it. Okay. Isn't okay, so you've got questions? two two proposed changes. Um, and I th I'll ask actually Mr. Tucker to comment on the second one. The first one, it seems to me, is completely non-controversial. Um, the uh, the idea of separating out the um, uh, the definitions because this is an amendment. Uh, this is a, a zoning bylaw change that is either going to pass or fail tonight. Isn't that a clever deduction? Um, but but um, no matter which of those things happens, it will be valuable to the ZBA and others to have these right. definitions of apartments and townhouses. So I think that that's a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Um, and uh, so, Mr. Tucker, do you know, is there any issue with the, the uh, amendment about striking the No, def this was discussed at the planning board meeting tonight, and the consensus was that that actually clarifies The language in question that's proposed to be removed is probably uh, actually vestigial from uh, the borrowing of aspects of other definitions and does create confusion if it's left and it allows for the possibility that people might think that there's some use other than a residential use that's intended to be as part of the apartment, whereas the only other kinds of uses would be accessory, laundry rooms, uh, and so forth. Um, so the consensus was that this is a Okay. Select board, have any questions, Mr. Eaton? Uh, just, just, just um, yeah, and I, I don't, I don't need an answer for this directly. But in buildings where there's a mixed use, is an apartment one of those mixed uses, or could it be? You no. know, upstairs you have four units. Uh, the intent is that there be uh, a single principal <clears throat> use per property. So a mixed use would, by definition, subsume any other multi-unit residential use. Got it. <coughs> okay. Other questions about the division or the amendment? 
All right, so then uh, the reason this comes to us now is so that we can actually take a position if we desire to on the floor of town meeting. Um, so if no one seems to object, Ms. Steiner would like to make a motion. I move that the select board support Barbara Ford's motion to divide and amend November 7, 2011 special town meeting article 17 village center zoning as attached. Second. Because otherwise I don't think it's meaningful. So is it all right if I write that, put that in? Um, do we attach things? Yeah. I don't uh, want to attach. No, yes. they, they'll do it, you know, uh, um, as attached. How about we just copy and paste it? Okay. All right, so I'll just include right. that in the motion. Right, okay. as, the well, I don't know. I just want it there because it's too vague without it. Right, that's fine. So, okay. I'll, so I'll just copy and paste it. Yeah, text include right the motion. Yep. Okay, Mr. Hayden. I kind of I want to kick around with my three colleagues first. the idea of supporting the division part of this. You got a that, second at first, please. I did. Oh, oh I meant to. Okay, good. I thought I did. <laughs> second. Okay, thank you. Um, as part of further discussion, I'd like to discuss with my four other colleagues the idea of supporting the division. Um, I make it a personal policy uh, not to vote on procedural things of town meeting calling the question the likes of that. That really is a matter that I imagine belongs to town meeting and not so much as a select board function. I'm wondering if div moving to divide is along those lines. Hmm. Okay, that's a good thought. Um, I mean, and, and, and don't misunderstand me. I'm, gonna, I'm absolutely going to support the... Uh, the, uh, the uh, Vote? The... Uh, the, the I, I'm hoping that we move to support the, the actual amendment. The question is whether we're going to, be, for me, is whether we want to be involved in the procedures of town meeting, and I think dividing the vote might be something so awfully close to process. We don't actually vote to divide. It's uh, not a debatable motion. As soon as there's one person moves to divide, if the moderator believes that the article is divisible, then he it's will divided. Say yes. Right. Then, you know, I, I would like to amend this to not include that. We're supporting the, the motion. action yeah. that she's proposing here. So, all right, do we have a problem? So it's, I mean, the, the, the um, our the motion that that Diana made says to divide, divide and amend. And I think I'd like to just see and amend, or just amend, no. amend the amendment. Shh. You have to wait to be uh, recognized, please, Miss Thing. I don't agree. <laughs> okay. okay, I mean. For all the reasons Mr. Tucker said, Mrs. Ms. Ford, Mrs. Ford and uh, Hilda said, I just really feel the division is to get it away from the rest of the article so we have good definitions to go by in the future whether Article 17 passes or not, so, um, or the rest of it. I, I just think it should be in there. That's what our, our action is, and um, I, I will support my motion as I originally made it. Um, so I agree, Div dividing isn't really, it, it, um, I I'm completely aligned with you on not um, voting on calling the question and stuff like that. That's for the body to decide. But only one member needs to divide it. And right. once it's divided, it's the concept of what's being divided out that we're supporting here. Um, so I, I don't think it's quite the same as a procedural issue. We're, we're supporting the action of, of what happens after it's divided. I mean, you don't have to vote for it, but I'm, yeah. I'm saying okay. I, I'm no, not I supporting just, just, your um, concept. I wanted, to, I wanted to, us to think about that. Okay, yeah, no, it was an interesting point. Ms. Ford. The division will take place if I move to divide and the moderator accepts. Correct. So what I'm asking to do is to consider the definitions. That's really what I'm asking to do. To consider, then, once it's divided, I want us, the body, to consider the definitions and vote them on them up or down. And then, of course, I'm going to make amend it first. But. Yeah. So but maybe you're not really supporting division. You're supporting voting for these articles, these, these particular parts at this time. Which is why we're including the text of this right. after right. the motion in right. the minutes. Right. I, I but the division the to me thing. is important. <laughs> That's the point. I think it's an important separation. So no matter what happens, these definitions, which I assume are useful to the Zoning Board of Appeals, two members of which are here, um, 
would find it helpful, and I would like them to become part of it. That's why I think it's important to divide. So I think the interesting thing here is we're actually using the word divide in two different ways. There's the technical part of what town meeting does to divide an article, and then we're actually dividing out, we're separating out the definitions, and the fact that we're using the word divide to mean both of those things is making us a little bit confused, but it gets us to the same place. I think that the motion really is fine, just as it okay. is if you don't mind. Um, Ms. Brewer or Mr. Wald, do you have any issues on this? I'm just not going to. Too much. I'm too just much frustrated time. that we're talking so much about dividing rather than the substance itself. So, yeah. So we we're, we did start to talk about exactly. the substance, and we were all fine with that. So did so you want to comment on the yeah. substance? Yeah. Okay. Right. So you're good. Okay. Is there further discussion then before we vote? All in favor, say aye. 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 That was unanimous. Okay. All right. Um, so we're all set with you folks. Thank you very much. It seems like a good thing to do. Um, the, the other thing that happened under um, town meeting is planning board met tonight and has uh, something to propose to us for consideration. So, Mr. Tucker. Thank you, Madam Chair. The planning board voted uh, to move an amended motion to move. I move in terms of the article, except change the permit requirements for townhouses in the NABC and AC districts I plan to do a special permit. So that, that one amendment is now being incorporated into the planning boards. There is discussion of every other possible <laughs> iteration of the provision and amendment that anyone could think of. And, um, they're probably still talking about that, but there were no other uh, motions to uh, have the planning board either move to divide something or move to amend something to respond to what town meeting does. Okay. Questions or comments from select board? <clears throat> Mr. Eden. I'd just be curious if there's a quick synopsis that we can have as to how that changed. I mean, I, I've been part, I've been listening to the discussion over and over again. And the principal um, substance of the reconsideration of this, the original intent uh, to have townhouses by site plan review was because they were approximately half as dense as, say, apartments are because of, their, because of the definition of this being. And also because they were um, a use that uh, contributed to residential density at this lower level uh, in village centers, and that was something that the board wanted to support. Uh, tonight, the discussion centered around the fact that in um, the majority of the area where the new NABC district in particular is being created, you're going from a circumstance where these uses are not permitted at all, it's a no, it's a no, to by right, and that seemed to be a very large leap for some, and they thought that it would be useful for the town to be able to try to operate that under a special permit circumstance, live with it for a few years, and then if it proved that everything was working fine, uh, the question of considering some of uh, multi-unit uh, uses by right uh, could come back to town meeting. But um, it was more about uh, reducing the size of the leap the size of the scope of the change that's being proposed. Thank you. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Anybody else? <laughs> Anybody want to comment and ask questions about this? Okay. Ms. Stein, would you like to make the motion to support the planning boards? Do we have this one on our... We don't. It's no. Brand okay. You have to wing it. Uh, I have to wing it. Okay. Uh, I move that the... Mr. Santi has created a... Oh, okay. Thank you. She had it. I move in terms of the article, I've moved to support um, the planning boards moving in terms of the article, except changing the permit requirements for townhouses in the NABC and AC districts from SPR to SB. Second. For the discussion. Mr. Hayden. Uh, I just might comment as far as the process goes, because that's the way it's going to be moved. What really we're doing is recommending to town meeting to accept the article as we're expecting planning board to present it. So it's not a separate thing. That's a good point. So it, it, the main point is it doesn't change our position on the article. We continue to accept it or uh, recommend it as yeah. a board even with this change. Maybe. We're going to find out right now. Yeah. I mean, some of us <laughs> support well, that, that's what this the motion. change yeah. without necessarily supporting the We support part. it the way it was. Now we're going to be asking ourselves if we support it the way it's going to be. If you want be. me to abstain and keep the confusion down, I can. We did, you know, yeah. 
previous vote was in favor of the article. Four. Right. So, well, we one. need to be clear about four this to because one, to one. Mr. Wald is going to speak to what the select board's position is on this. Mm -hmm. So uh, you're perfectly welcome to vote <laughs> differently here, and you can say that it okay. the select board unanimously <laughs> supported here, this. Here is where I stand, very straightforwardly. I'm not supporting Article 17, but should it pass, I'd rather see this in it than not. So I could support this without supporting the whole article. Okay. Mr. Wald, does can that seem you, like something you can, can you represent? deal with that, Mr. Wald? <laughs> <laughs> it's your reputation on the mind, on the line okay. as well as mine, so I'll figure out a way. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> all right. Uh, further discussion. <laughs> it just gets more fun all the time, That's doesn't true. it? Uh, all right. All in favor, say aye. 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 And that was unanimous. Okay. Anything else related to town meeting that we know about? Mr. Hayden. I want to appreciate La Paz Central for bringing apples to the dessert <laughs> cart. <laughs> coffee. Otherwise, We're going to need coffee. coffee. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anything else? Did you have any logistics related to town meeting that you want to talk about? Okay. Good. We're done with the town meeting discussion. So, next up <laughs> on the agenda is uh, key information from the town manager, Mr. Misanti. Sure. I have one. Uh, one update, one announcement for you. I'm really pleased, and it's in your uh, fresh packet, uh, the mm -hmm. press release that I, I issued earlier today jointly with Steve Gaughan, uh, Firefighter Union President, who's also here tonight, along with Chief Tim Nelson. Very pleased to announce that the town and the Amherst Firefighters Local uh, 1764 have reached agreement on a new three-year labor agreement. Uh, for the period July 1, 2010 through June 30th, uh, 2013. Uh, the key items in the package uh, uh, are a uh, wage increase, 1% uh, retroactive to July 1, 2010, a 2% <coughs> adjustment to be effective January 1, 2012, and a 2% increase effective July 1, 2012. Uh, another key provision is an implementation of a new 24-hour shift schedule. And we have worked in a very collaborative spirit with uh, fire uh, command staff and uh, the union leadership to look at a number of different models of 24-hour uh, shift. And we think we've come upon a model that can work really well in Amherst and has worked really well uh, in other fire uh, departments uh, across the country. Um, um, we think it, it continues our focus on patient care, and uh, we're really pleased, and we'll work out the logistics of the exact uh, implementation date, but it'll be somewhere around the first of the year, and we'll, that'll be worked out between uh, uh, staff and the uh, union. Um, and also, uh, another key change is uh, the there's a change in the time of the, when the shifts are rotated, there'll be one rotation per day, and it will occur now at 7 a.m. instead of 8 a.m., and that was a, a proposal uh, uh, that was data-driven. Uh, when we look at our ambulance call volume in particular, there's a, there's a, a spike in call volume around the 8 o'clock hour, which was our old uh, shift, our current shift time change, and this will allow our our uh, person just coming on shift to be able to respond to those calls instead of being at the end of their shift. So overall, I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, I want to thank uh, Steve Kahn uh, in person now as opposed to by phone, et cetera, et cetera, uh, for really an ongoing uh, good, candid dialogue about what's working well, what can we improve upon, and um, we worked hard. Uh, Chief Nelson brought forward many uh, concepts for consideration as well. Uh, our human resources staff, our labor uh, negotiator, Jim Connors, all were active on this for a long time, and we've now gotten the fruit of that labor with a, with a ratification vote on Monday night by the Firefighters Union. So I'm really pleased to announce that, and we're looking forward to implementation and continuing our dialogue on this and other issues. The 24-hour shift uh, is a big change, but we think it can be a very positive change uh, in Amherst. And um, the way the uh, contract was negotiated, uh, the first year really is a trial period, and there'll be regular uh, dialogue between uh, uh, the fire chief, myself, and the and the rank and file to see how it's working. And 
I, I'm confident we're going to continue that good dialogue and we're going to inevitably find things that we want to tweak in terms of how the uh, how it's set up but, and we're confident that we can have this be a, a, a permanent part of the part of the landscape here so I don't know if either of you want to say anything but I just wanted to thank you both in person and just been pleased to announce this okay. uh, obviously it was uh, thank you for having me it, it, it was a, a, a long and long process. You know, it did take us a long time. Historically, those of you know that the fire union seems to, at times, have had expired contracts, and it's been a historical thing. And you know, we've been we've been negotiating this or discussing probably uh, upwards of 18 months. Um, obviously, it, it's our goal. I'm sure it's our mayor's goal. But maybe we'll get the next one done before this one expires. Um, <laughs> it's on tape. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> this is a contract that, that we we feel is. is Town and ends with the fire pay. Obviously, it, it helps us. You know, potentially there's some some cost savings for the town. There's some efficiency stuff with some fire inspection stuff for the businesses, um, and the restructuring of the work schedule doesn't eliminate the hours worked, but it allows us hopefully to have a better rested staff, and when, when the time comes. Um, obviously, as we've spoken with town manager and chief, this doesn't help our, our call volume, which is becoming astronomical here. It doesn't, it doesn't add people. But at this moment, today, it will hopefully allow our staff to be a little bit more prepared, um, a little more rested. In the long run, obviously, we've got goals. You know, and, and we have to look at how we can better serve the citizens in the town. And, and that's something cooperative we'd like to do with the town manager. And I thank him for his efforts to get this done, and, and the fire chief. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> with Steve. Steve said this is good. It's good for us. It's good, good for, for the for our partner and it's good, it's good for the town. Um, and one, one of the things I found is that when, when I first came, came here, I was told about there's a spirit of collaboration here. And, and, this, and this has been what this, 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 is, this whole, whole thing has been, been about. It's, it's been really good. We've disagreed at times, but it's been an adult conference. So a little different from what where from where I came came from. So a little more contentious from where I came from. But we we agreed. You know, we we at times we just did just disagree, but we weren't just dis, disagree agreeable, which is good. I think in in a long long run, this is the first step to get get to 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 a place. I think a really good place place for 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 us now. Again, further the fire department and 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 most most Thank you. Okay. Congratulations to all of you for, for doing this, for all the work that went into it. Um, I think that the 24-hour shifting is a tremendous example of thinking creatively about how better to use the resources that we have available. And I think that might be a model not to shift, you know, how the department's in 24 hours, but to really say, okay, we've always done things in this particular way, but that doesn't mean that's the best way to keep doing things. Let's try a dramatically different way of looking at it. Right. Absolutely. For us, you know, even for starting your, your day, you know, what time you get, you start your day in the morning, it's a significant change for the, for the membership and the, the, the firefighters. But it's something that we're obviously willing to take on because we're looking at potential cost savings. Hopefully, we can reallocate sure. our money into places we need it. So. And as, as I said, you know, Dan, this is the first, first step for some things we want to do down, 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 down the road. And so, uh, you know, we. At times we do do things because that's the way we've always done, done them. And Steve and his group and us, we're all we're all, all willing to ask the fact that we're question, well, why? And it is is the best that that's way. And is there another way? It's not not going to hurt to ask and look. You know? So as it was said, this is the first thing. <coughs> That's tremendous. Thank you very much. Questions or comments from Slackboard? Ms. Stein. I, I uh, like very much the fact that the first year you're going to have feedback going on to evaluate the process so we don't get fixed into a new model uh, and say that's the way it has to be, that you can alter it as it goes along. I think that's really, really fine. Other questions or comments from Select Board? 
Mr. Mercedes, anything else? No, that's it. Just that was, that was a nice summary too. Yeah. I'm really pleased. Thank you for coming in and congratulations. <coughs> Our, uh, our many thanks to uh, to all the men and women of the fire department. Thank you. Okay, what else have we got going on here? We've got a taxi license. Mm -hmm. Shall I make the motion? Please. I move that the select board approve the new taxi driver slash chauffeur license for Jasmine Powers of Springfield, Mass, on behalf of Zickley Taxi Company. Second. Further discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Yeah, that is unanimous. And are there any other Thank issues that we need to discuss tonight? Well, remind us that we are meeting on Monday night, the 21st. We've got a pretty good full agenda um, for then. Uh, and we're also meeting the 5th and the 12th. Those are our only other scheduled meetings for the rest of this year. Um, so we'll have a lot of things to fit in. And. Uh, I can't think of anything else I need to tell you. Mr. Hayden. I would move to adjourn to town meeting. All right. <laughs> and then Second. without objection, this meeting adjourns at 6.59. Thank you very much.